Hi, I'm Cassandra Palumbo, Product Manager for Life Safety. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to program STAR-enabled emergency lighting equipment post-installation after power has been applied. Why do I need STAR? Well, the Life Safety Code requires that emergency lighting equipment undergo a monthly test and an annual test to ensure system readiness in the event of a loss of normal power. Additionally, records of these tests must be maintained for inspection as needed by the authorities having jurisdiction, or AHJs, such as your local fire marshal or building inspector. STAR-enabled emergency equipment will automatically conduct required monthly and annual tests, so the STAR reporting tool on your mobile device will wirelessly connect with these devices to access the test data logs and download the data for both immediate review and later reference. Combined, the STAR reporting tool and STAR-enabled emergency lighting equipment remove the need for physical testing of your emergency lighting while making required documentation of these tests even simpler. STAR-enabled emergency lighting devices feature firmware for conducting the monthly and annual tests and Bluetooth radio hardware for communicating to the STAR reporting tool on a mobile device. Compatible emergency lighting products from Lithonia Lighting, Holofane, and IOTA are identified with the nomenclature AELR in the model name, which stands for Automated Emergency Lighting Reporting. We are going to start in this scenario with our exit sign, emergency light, and an IOTA emergency driver. All the programming is going to be done through the Clarity Plus mobile app, so let's get started. Once you've created a login, tap Start. This is going to be syncing up with the backend database, so it's important at this stage that you're able to be connected to the internet. On the site page, create the first site. Tap Create Site and type in the site name as well as the company name and an address. Once you've completed all of that information, tap the Create button. Now we can go to our site list and select that site. Once you've created your site, STAR will detect any STAR-enabled emergency devices within range. Before the STAR reporting tool begins to collect the data from the devices, you'll be asked to create a group. A group allows you to assign emergency devices by an attribute that works best for you. For instance, you can assign devices to a particular room, say the back room, or perhaps by a device like exit signs. Within the site you just created, select Create next to the group's menu. Give your new group a name, a description, and then you can select Create. Now you're ready to add emergency devices to a group. To assign devices to a group, select the desired group from the site screen. Once you are within the group's menu, select the desired group and then click the Add button to access the Add Device menu. The STAR app will show a list of detected devices. Select the checkbox of the STAR-enabled devices you wish to include in the group and select Assign. The Device Names screen allows you to view the test data and history, add notes for the device, or give the device a custom name for clarification. Repeat these steps for each group you wish to create. To begin your collection of emergency lighting test results, open the desired location from the site menu. The STAR app should automatically be connecting to any emergency devices within range and downloading the data. Carry your mobile device within wireless range of all the products in the site to gather all the needed data. The STAR app must be connected to the internet open and on top in order to collect emergency device data. Once you've completed your walkthrough, you can confirm all of the data has been collected by selecting Site Compliance Summary from the main menu. If all of the emergency devices have been logged with no detected problems, the site will appear under the Compliant category. If not, select the Not Compliant category to open the site and identify any missed devices. The sites listed in either category will feature a status icon next to the site name. To access the full report for a specific site, go to the Sites menu and select the desired site from your site's list. On the resulting site screen, select Export Compliance Report at the bottom. The STAR app will automatically generate the full report in PDF format, which includes all STAR-enabled devices in all groups for the selected site. Using your mobile device's system tools, select the desired contacts and delivery method for the generated report and send. To learn more about STAR, self-testing and automated reporting in the enabled products, go to acuitybrands.com star.